From Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Here's Chris Carl. Among Delaware's top stories for Thursday, January 25th. President Bush pays a visit, but not everyone's happy. Team coverage coming up. Two teens are charged in a year-old murder in Wilmington. And we have a Powerball winner. Here are the details. Stressing the need to reduce our dependency on foreign oil, President Bush came to Delaware yesterday to meet with some of the people paving the road for the change. WDEL's Carl Konefsky reports. Air Force One touched down at the Newcastle County Airport, bringing the president to town to meet with scientists at the DuPont Company. Before addressing a group of employees at the DuPont Theater, Bush toured the experimental station where he says researchers work every day to find alternative fuel sources to help America reduce its need for oil. Some of the smartest people in our country work here, all trying to develop new technologies. This isn't anything new for DuPont, by the way. This is like what you've been doing for a long time but trying to develop new technologies to help us solve this problem, and that's why I've come here. Bush said research being done in Delaware today will help the nation reach his goal of reducing gasoline consumption by 20 percent over the next 10 years. We're going to be able to make ethanol, which will power your automobiles, not just from corn, but from wood chips or switchgrass or, you know, uh, waste from uh, corn itself, from the, from the, the, the uh, stalks. There's all kinds of opportunities to make energy to power your automobiles from uh, that which had been discarded as waste in the past. Bush said the reliance on foreign oil is an economic, environmental, and national security threat, so alternatives are essential. Reporting from Wilmington, I'm Carl Konefsky, 1150 AM, WDEL. The president's visit wasn't without controversy. WDEL's Melanie Armstrong has that part of the story. About 30 protesters marched outside the Hotel DuPont carrying signs. So we're here to ask him to end the war and bring the troops home now. We don't want a surge. We don't want a surge of troops going out of there. We want a surge of peace. I think George Bush is a crazed man uh, that, uh, that, that started this war on lies uh, simply so he could seek vengeance on Saddam Hussein and the Iraqi people and has now just stubbornly uh, stayed the course. The protesters say the war is costing millions of dollars a month, and that's not money being spent on rebuilding. They say that money could be better spent at home. Melanie Armstrong, 11.50 a.m., WDEL. Hard work by Wilmington detectives ends with the arrest of two men for the death of a Wilmington mother. It was nearly a year ago that 30-year-old Tamika Giles was gunned down near her home at 5th and Willing Streets. Police say robbery was the motive. Now detectives have charged 17-year-old Mark Purnell and 18-year-old Ron Harris for the murder. Charges for both include murder, attempted robbery, and conspiracy. Senator Biden has a message for the president. WDEL News continues in a moment. You could spend your money at the gas pump, or you could spend it on those sexy pumps at your favorite store. Let Dart do the driving. I do all my shopping with Dart. It's the most convenient way to shop the outlets, and it saves me money. Now save even more. Get up to 40% off with a discounted Dart card. Online at dartfirststate.com or at your local Acme market. At this rate, with the money I save riding Dart, I'll have a new pair of shoes every week. Travel smart. Choose Dart. Four reputed gang members accused of attempted murder in a fight last July have pleaded guilty to lesser charges of riot and conspiracy. 18-year-olds Juan Lopez and Hugo Sanchez and 19-year-olds Gabriel Orozco and Juan Pedraza were four of ten people charged after the fight on Homestead Road just outside the Wilmington city limits. One person, a 21-year-old man, was shot to death and two other people wounded. Two other alleged gang members are charged with first-degree murder. Three other suspects still face attempted murder charges. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee isn't happy with President Bush's troop increase in Iraq. The committee, chaired by Senator Biden, passed a resolution yesterday saying the troop buildup is not in the national interest. Biden says it isn't meant to embarrass the president, but an attempt to keep Bush from making what they believe is a significant mistake. Republican Nebraska Senator Chuck Hagel joined committee Democrats in approving the non-binding resolution. Well, there is a Powerball winner today. Of the millions of tickets sold for last night's drawing, one of them matched all six numbers to win the $254 million jackpot. The winning ticket was sold in Missouri. In addition, 23 players matched five of the six winning numbers in the drawing to win at least $200,000 each, but none of those were sold in Delaware. The winning numbers were 9, 19, 29, 42, and 53. The Powerball was 17. 
The Sixers are feeling a little better. WDEL Sports, send your Delaware. Back here with a forecast coming up. As you look for your college experience, make sure you look at Wilmington College, your key to success. I'm Peter MacArthur. I'm Melanie Armstrong, and here are Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour. The most complete coverage of the news that matters in Delaware every weekday morning, 5.30 to 9 on 1150 AM WDEL. In WDEL Sports, Andre Iguodala scored eight of his 34 points in the second overtime as the Sixers down Cleveland 118-115. Samuel D'Alembert added 20 points and 10 rebounds as the Sixers won on back-to-back -back nights and for the third time in the last four games. Well, Towson scored the first 13 points of the game as they cruised to an 85-63 win over Delaware in CAA action. Herb Courtney led Delaware with 19 points and 10 rebounds, while Sean McMahon added 14. Delaware dropped to 3-17 and on the year, 1-8 and in the conference. Your WDEL Delaware AccuWeather forecast, variably cloudy throughout the day with some flurries, a high 39. Tonight, clouds with flurries and some heavier snow squalls as well. Just minor accumulation, though. Tonight's low, 17. Tomorrow, sunshine and some clouds, a high 26, but wind chills tomorrow in the single digits. Good news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 1150 AM, WDEL, or anytime right here at WDEL.com, including news video from Delaware and around the world from WDEL and the Associated Press. I'm Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.